Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Brittany. I'm back. I'm better with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, click the bell to be notified of every time I post. Cause y'all know what it is. Y'all know I post frequently. All right, y'all, y'all already know what we doing. Say it with me. We are jumping. We are skipping. We are hopping. We are leaping. We are doing it. Dougie, our Dougie, Dougie into this video. Click the link down in the description box to become a member on my Patreon. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, dreams really do come true because one of the biggest Miss Mary Mac, 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 gonna give you that smack, 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 smack down is coming to Bounties. Pause for me. So, y'all, Mel is on her way or she's landed in Hawaii to get that. She need that. She get like that with big ivory. Now, y'all, this is... Like, one thing about it, this, they like, oh, y'all said Baddie's Caribbean was trash? Baby, I'm finna give y'all treasure with Baddie's Midwest. I see why they went to um, Midwest last, because when I tell y'all, it's been drama from left, right, center, all that. So, let's jump into what's going on. Now, shout out to Reality TV Gone Bad, because when I tell you, they was catching everything from Jayla, Bad Dolly, to what Ivory had to say. Because I was looking for it on Ivory page, and I couldn't find it. So, Ivory ends up saying, I really get y'all females paid. And at this point, it's sick. I'm done with TV after this, 100. Why lie? Why lie? 100, that. Anyways, she continues, and she says, once again, without me, y'all wouldn't be thought of 100 y'all sick this time have the ambulance outside because i'm done playing go fight for your now now let me say this hold on hold on relax you need to calm down they wanted her she didn't want them let's be clear let's be honest um you really saying like y'all that you get them paid i'm not gonna say that because to be honest like yes like of course, we've always need to see y'all get that. We want y'all to get that. But they wanted her to come to the show that you're on. They wanted her. So, it's not really like she chasing Cloud or she was begging to be on here. They call for her. You have your anger out on the wrong person. You need to have your anger with your production producers, Lemmy. Natalie, people like that. Not Melanie Ball stepping on them, okay? I just I get I get you. Like you're irritated because Mel had to do no work to get on a show that you had to do work to get on, and they are bringing her in to get into it with you. And then what I'm believing is they're going to transfer her OV over to Baddie's Gone Wild because I did see Wet Wet post this about basically what I'm guessing is starting starting filming of Baddie's Gone Wild. So I'm I'm believing that, you know, Baddie's Midwest is coming to a close and they're transitioning production over to go and start filming Baddie's gone wild which is great and if mel can get on that show i think that'd be amazing for her because they can open up way more storylines and let's be clear mel does have cloud before it was ever her and ivory beefing you know she was big room okay so she had that going on and you decided to jump in there and help the girls which is understandable but let's be clear she has beef with nah she has beef with well, can you call it beef after she really took her through there? Nugs. Um, for, for, maybe Ferrari? Question mark. Well, yeah, she be going off on Ferrari. So, yeah, I would say like she has beef with Ferrari. So, she does have a storyline and stuff outside of you. It's not just like she's just targeting, targeting you and that it's just you and her all the time. Like, just like you have different different beefs with other people she has different beefs and other beefs with different people as well ivory continues and says she's only getting in because i said it was okay should have starved you thank me 304 Mwah. 
Now, I will say this. Ivory do always be playing as though she got some type of pool or Nelly. And Lemmy was like, oh, well, you know, if you're okay with it, we want to bring mail. Girl, please. The way you so irritated and pissed, you really didn't want this to happen. And I'm just staying how I feel. I feel as though you didn't want this to happen. Mind you, Mel came only to get you in that club. Like, she needed that. Because you was in her city, not to necessarily get on a show. So, you sitting up here saying, oh, it's only happening because I said it was okay. I should have starved you, girl. You was telling that girl in her own city, come, come, come get me. Like, you was taunting her. So, now that they gave her an opportunity to come get you, now she needs to be thanking you. Girl, please. Please, girl. Please. Who are you playing with here? We know you ain't got no pool over there. We know you not getting like that when it comes to lending them. You know that you are having to stay in order, in line. You know, you know, we know that baby, you don't call no shots over there. Now, Lee, no shade, allegedly don't even call shots over there herself. And that is supposed to be her show. So, girl, cut it out. Now, I do believe that Mel should get this opportunity. We love Mel. I definitely want to see Mel in transition. And I think she'll be good over there on Baddies Gone Wild. We know when she get like that, she get like that. So, I think this will be great for her. Also, um, I do want to see her over here. I do, I do, I do. I do want to see them get that because of the piss situation. So, y'all need to get that, get that, get that. But I'm going to say this. This is Mel's opportunity. Mel need to come from the show. This is how she did with Nugs on Ivory. Like, trust me, we know Ivory finna be fighting hard because she really didn't want this to happen. She's really irritated that, you know, Zeus um, did her like this, I guess. So, we already know she's gonna be fighting hard just because of she, she feels though, oh, you wanna come over here and play like you, you finna whoop me? Okay, I'm finna whoop you. Mel, you need to, you, you, like, honestly, you need to be, uh, 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 like, I swear to God, how you did Nugs, how you had Nugs swimming, trying to figure out where she was going, left, right, center, you need to have Ivory like that, like, we know Ivory's not gonna be like that, no shit, we know that it's probably not gonna go that way, but what I'm really saying is that you need to be fighting hard, like, hard, hard like you need to be going from the shoulders all day long like just like as we know i really like to fight right up on you she don't fight far back she fight right up on you she like get right on you and get the punch in. man you need to go to sight you need to get right up on and you need to come sober no shade come sober nothing in your system whatsoever no drinks no nothing should have kept me left long like it needs to be that energy like I know you really come because of the piss situation. So, therefore, I feel as though you you have true stakes to rock out. Like, I think the stakes is so high for you to rock out. It's going to be crazy. Y'all, they are doing... I'm eating it up. Now, this is my thing. This is my question. Are they having this be the open scene of Daddy's Gone Wild? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Or, or, or... Is this going to be like the last, last scene for Baddies Midwest? Because my thing is, if she's going to be going on Baddies Gone Wild, this most likely would be the opening scene. And most likely, Ivory will not do Baddies Gone Wild. Because, um, you know, she has a child. She's been gone for a while. So, I'm sure, like, she is ready to go back to her baby and, you know, things like that. And just see the season play out. I'm sure she's not going to transition over to... Baddie's gone wild. Like I said, she just did a full season. I'm sure she just, you know, she's finna go home. But I think it'll be good for it to be a oh, even though like I want it, I want to see it right now. Like I want to see it today. You know, I need to see it now, like right now. Um, I would love for it to be at the end of Baddie's Midwest, but I'm sure it's gonna be for for me. This is what I'm thinking that it's gonna be the opening scene for Baddie's Gone Wild. That's just what I'm thinking. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking. And I'm going to also say this too. With Ivory saying like, oh, she's she's going to quit. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why did this boil her blood so bad? That she is claiming that she's going to be done with TV after this. 
Like, if you were the one who gave permission, why is this boiling you up so bad to where you ready to quit TV? And two, I feel as though she's been having her way. And this one time that she don't get her way, mind you, taunting me or telling me, oh, we need to get that. Oh, come, come, baby. Come get me. Ha ha, you couldn't get in. But now that they have opened the door to let her in and then take her on another show, you're irritated, you're annoyed, and you feel as though you playing like you're going to quote unquote quit TV is something else. When you, in my opinion, threw dirt on the people who were giving you these opportunities. And now that on a new network, you cannot throw a tantrum, stump the yard and say, oh, I want this to go my way. You're irritated with that. But they just letting you know that you're not running nothing over there. I think they are making that very clear that, yes, you are big ivory. And, yes, you are going to entertain us. You are employee of the year. But over here, we do things different and we do what we want to do. I pay you to do your job. I don't pay you to tell me who you want to come and go. Um, I think they made that very clear to her. And from her saying, you know, this time bring the ambulance outside. She let it be known and she finna be fighting hard. But I'm excited. The stakes are very high. Oh, my God. I hope they get three rounds in, please. I need them to keep going and going and going and going. Like, I need Mel to be on her bully like bad and the only reason like i'm truly like i like both of them of course obviously but i'm rooting rooting for mel because i just seen how she did nugs and we know that she's not gonna do ivory like that i don't need nobody telling me that in the comments oh she this ivory though i know i know i know who we talking about shut up anyways but I just know I just know that because of the P thing and because she had the BB going on she really couldn't get down like she wanted to but baby shaking the table i just know she finna get in there and she needs to she honestly needs to because of the whole piss situation okay now let's move on to tinker bella now i'm gonna go and give my thoughts on tinker bella early tinker you getting on my nerves oh my god you keep adding yourself and stuff um and you're being very annoying which you just continues continuously adding yourself and stuff that has nothing not a lick not a piece of pie to do with you you're getting on my nerves you and me man at that reunion irritated me down i was ready for y'all to cut it cut it cut it loose all the way and you got on my nerves and something else that oh the tommy situation you got on my nerves with that you irritated me down with that so since then you have put a bad taste in my mouth be just because you're you're getting on my nerves your storylines are not as amazing as they was you know when i first met you and it just seemed like you just be doing stuff you know you just you just be doing stuff and i just kind of want you to sit down and you know do the stinky legs some more or do the jerk or you know you're doing it on purpose baby like just be the cool funny girl like stop trying to be something else so one of the fans ends up telling Mel, get Jayla too while you're at it. So Tinka comes under to mess some not happening. Melanie then replies said, do I know you or Jayla? Question mark. Don't let these fans hype your head. Why? Right. I'm saying the same thing. So Tinka then responds and said, you definitely know of us. No offense. And sorry if you're offended, babes. I just telling the truth. Now, this is my biggest issue with Tinka. Just because somebody came out the woodworks and said, get Jayla too. If Mel never replied, then why would you then say not happening? Like, first of all, when it comes to Jayla, Jayla can definitely handle her own. Two, where was you when that whole situation was going on in a club? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Was not in order. Like, please. And like Mel said, she don't know you or Jayla to really like get into it with you. Or to get into it with her. She don't know y'all to get like that with y'all. So why would you then include yourself to my not happening? You barely can defend yourself. Let alone you playing like you going to defend Jayla. And it is seeming like this season from the whole Ar um, Tommy and Arkbar situation to this. You is thirsty for a storyline. And you know what I need you to be thirsty for? Not a storyline with me, okay? You can have a storyline with any of them girls who really want to get like that, who are saying, you know, if Jayla, Biggie, Anna, da da da, you know, your sisters, you need to get like that with those girls, not me. 
it may have didn't say like, oh yeah, I got you or something like that. It really was no need for you to come in and say something. But they said you've been thirsty for stories, storylines all season. And that's what it's giving, babes. And I need you to hang it up. Flat screen. So Mel ends up responding to, um, what's his girl name? Tinka. Because Mel, like, girl, I really get like that. Don't play with me. Don't start un, un, don't start stuff that has nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing to do with you. Because as soon as you start, I'm going to finish it. And I promise you that. Okay? I'm relaying the message. I want you to relay the message now. Mel told you to relay the message because she's not playing with you. She's not playing with you anymore. She said that she gets like that. She will be on that when it comes to you. Don't play. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. She really gets like that. Do you want to be next? Do you want to look like nugs? Obviously, you do. And for you to be like, oh, you know us, babes. Girl, you know she. Tika ain't been on one season. Head is full of air. Girl. She not saying it like that. She not saying it like, oh, I'm a fan of y'all. Or, oh, I know y'all. TV. She's saying she don't know y'all personally. She don't have an issue with y'all to get that. Like, oh, getting on my nerves. You definitely know us, babes. Like, she a fan. Like, girl, she ain't never spoke to y'all a day that I have been reviewing. I've never seen her say anything about y'all. And definitely never her seen definitely never seen her say anything about you in particular. But once again, I do believe Tinka is trying to chase a storyline, trying to chase Cloud. And baby, hit that one, two, three, four out the door, okay? Because you're getting on my nerves. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'm going to see y'all in the comments. Bye.